Lines are the most important thing in a motocross race is, uh, you know, being able to be open-minded to try different things. Even if it might be a little slower, you try it. And um, also in practice, not always trying to be the fastest guy, but trying to be, if you know the track's going to be hard to pass on, go out there and try to make new lines in practice because that's the only person that's going to make them. A lot of the other people aren't going to. My situation this year, being on the 125 against the 250Fs, Sometimes I got to sacrifice my lap times to be able to try to make new lines, inventive lines for when the races come, and I have my lines where I can try to pass. And um, you know, I think that's important. But um, don't you know? To me, people who ride the same line all the time are lazy people. You know, if you move out of the line six inches, a foot, it's smooth, and people don't see that. And you never know if it's going to be faster or slower unless you try it. And that's where practice comes in, and even the race, you know. If you lose time in that corner one lap, okay, we'll go back to your line you before. You're never going to pass if you follow the guy. That's why you got to try different lines and be inventive and, uh, you know, always be looking ahead. Lines uphill. You know, uphills have a tendency of having a lot of uh, bumps going up, a lot of acceleration bumps. So. You want to look ahead, look where you're going. You could even move over a foot, two feet from either side and get out of the bumps. Uh, if you have an uphill that has a little bit of turns to it, you want to try to make it the straightest shot as possible so when I get to the next turn, I am holding the most speed, not using more track than I have to. Again, cutting down the distance from point A to point B. When I come out here to the outside and I got this right-hander, I have the opportunity to go inside or outside because I'm on the outside of the track coming into it. If I came up to the corner on the inside of the track, I'd have to slow down quite a bit to hit the inside, or if I come into it with a lot of speed, I'm automatically going outside. So if there's a person in front of me, he is controlling where I'm going. If I'm on the outside, I'm controlling where I'm going off of that rider in front of me. I can dive to the inside quickly or I can sweep around him on the outside. That's why it's always important to be on the right place on the track when you're behind somebody. Okay, this is an off-camber switchback. Uh, it's, you know, you got some more speed coming with this. Uh, it's a little bit different than just an, a normal off-camber turn. As you can see, I do it a couple different ways. You can kind of come down, hit a berm, and then make two turns out of it. You know, one turn, two turns, or you can come down, slow down a little bit, and cut across it and make it more of a straightaway. So if you got a tape measure out and measured it from point A to point B both ways, making two turns out of it, you're going to probably have 30, 40 feet more track than when you measured it from slowing down and cutting across it and making it just a straightaway. As you can see when I come on the outside to hit that berm I'm coming down the hill with a lot more gas but I have a nice berm to hold me so I can be a little bit more aggressive. On the inside I come down the hill I let off the gas I'm patient and I make a straightaway out of it so again when I get to point B I'm going faster or I'm gonna get there quicker than making two turns out of it and again you have to be patient sometimes to be quicker slow down to go faster sometimes when you're going across a off camber turn off camber straightaway whatever it is you don't want to be off the gas coasting because then your wheels not getting that traction if you can just a little bit of gas just so you, you can hear the bike and nah, 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 that's keeping that wheel turning that's keeping that wheel always trying to fight for traction you don't want to just come in chop the gas and try to roll around it, you're not going to have any forward momentum or any traction on the rear wheel.